Okay, so now that you've finished your foundation chain for your blanket, now we're going to do our first row. And the first stitch we're going to use is double crochet. Some of you might know it as single crochet, depending whether you use UK or US terms. So I'm probably going to keep calling it double crochet because that's the most familiar term for me. So I've got a, a shorter chain here. You're obviously going to have a longer chain, but to start our first row, if you remember, I mentioned using a larger hook. So we're going to take the five millimeter hook out, keep it well away so that you don't pick it up by mistake. That's one of my tricks. And we're now going to go on to a four millimeter hook. So we've got our chain, we've got our hook. Now when you're starting um, your first row, you have to have what's called a turning chain. So your blanket asks for 133 chain, but only 132 will be for the actual blanket. The 133rd stitch is your turning chain. So what I'm going to do, if you can see, we've got the chain here. We don't count that little loop on the hook. So we don't count that. We don't go into the first chain. We put our hook and we push it into that first chain on the row. And we put the yarn round and pull through. So now we've got two stitches on the hook, yarn round again and pull through two. And that's your first double crochet. So then we're going to go into the next stitch. You'll see the chains are made up of three loops. You've got a loop here at the bottom and you've got two loops at the top. The best way to get a really neat edge is to push that hook down so you've got one loop below and you can see you've got two loops above. You're going to put the yarn round your hook and pull through, two loops on the hook, yarn round and pull through. We're going to carry on exactly like that. So we're going to be pushing your hook through, yarn round, pull through, two loops on your hook, yarn round, pull through. I'll keep doing a few more. So it's yarn round, pull through. And what we don't want to do is pull this too tightly. So just be relaxed when you're doing it, because if you get a bit stressed, you're going to make this really tight. So pushing your hook through, yarn round, pull through, and through those two loops. And you can see we're getting this really nice double crochet stitch. I have to say this first row is the hardest, working into the chain. Once you get done a few more rows, you'll find it much, much easier. So you're pushing through, pulling through, yarn round, pull through two. And I'm just going to keep on going until I get to the end of the row and then I'll show you how to turn. Right, so I've come to the end of my row. So you've just got to check that you go into that very, very last stitch and you can see you've got those two loops there. So we're going to go under, yarn round and pull through and yarn round hook through two. Thank you. 